Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm sorry for the way that these two videos are put together. Um, it just ended up being really long, so I divided right it up for down you. To it. Um, the first thing I'm going to tell you is when I do Jim's cobbler and my cobbler, I do them simultaneously. So I will do that tonight as well. What I do first is I always open up all the PMs on both of them because Jim and I don't have any... Um, all the meds we take are five or seven days a week or, or every day. Let's put it that way. I know some people do take meds that are Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Some people take meds that are every other day. Um, I'm very aware of that. I, like I said, we've dealt with lots of people doing lots of things during lots of times. <laughs> so um, the first med I'm going to show you we take is ibuprofen. Ibuprofen is not the greatest on your body, but it really does help. Jim and I... Um, both suffer from lots of pain from being old and out of work and out of shape and those kinds of things. Um, not out of work. Our well, bodies are out of work. Um, but what we do, and this is a new bottle because we were out of ibuprofen. But what we do is um, we take them to go to sleep at night. And not to help with sleep aid because it doesn't make you tired. But what it does is it allows us to not be woken up by pain. And I will tell you, point blank honesty, um, there have been times when I have woken up with pain um, after I've taken my medicine. And then the next day, I will look, um, and no fault of anybody's, but usually it's when Jimmy does meds, and I'm not blaming him, it's just the way it is. And then I'll wake up and I'll look at the next day. The next day we'll have seven ibuprofen when I know that the night before I only took three instead of five um, and I'll know after the fact like oh that's why I had so much pain um, but what I do is I take five now granted I am quite a large person and I only take the Advil at night the ibuprofen at night I always call it Advil even though it's ibuprofen um, these are 200 milligram tablets so I take a thousand milligrams at night now Speak to your doctor. I'm not a doctor. I'm just telling you what I do for me. Jim takes three at night before bed. He takes 600 milligrams. And what I do is I take, well, first thing I want to do is put my glasses on. Where'd I put them? Here. The first thing I do is, um, at AHRC, we like, we're told never touch the pills or whatever. But when it comes to the ibuprofen, I'll tell you, it is easy to, and I do touch my pills because it's just for me and my husband. I'm not trying to say I don't. But what I do is I take the five, and it's easier for me to get the five in here by just putting them in the cap and pouring them in there. Otherwise, I can do this, and they fall and go in other directions. And that's one of the things I've showed him, um, that it's easier to do it that way. Um, and, it, and this way he won't accidentally overdose me or underdose me. Um, so I'm going to get... Uh, five of each of these and Jim is going to get three of each of these um okay now we ran out of our big bottle of ibuprofen was empty um so we went to Walmart and we found 40 for 98 cents Now we always use the equate brand um, of the ibuprofen anyway. This is usually the big bottle you guys have been around You've seen Walmart hauls. Um, this is usually what we get. It's much less expensive than buying 40 at a time You get a thousand for about $12 um, And that price changes like I feel like every other time we go shopping Sometimes it's twelve ninety seven. Sometimes it's eleven forty six. Sometimes it's, you know, thirteen and change. So it's like, okay. So let's see. I just want to see. All right. I have one more day. This is for Friday, and then this is for Saturday, and then Jim's. Jim gets three, and though his container is much easier and much more open, um, I still do it the same way. 
Now that was the end of the first bottle because if you do math, you know that I get 35 of them and he gets 15 of them, so we need 50. So since there's 40 in here, I definitely knew I was going to need to open a second box. But we get paid on the first. Um, actually, Mom gets paid on the first. Jim gets paid Wednesday. So I just had him pick up three bottles just to tide us over until we can go shopping again. Until payday. Sometimes I'll do that. So I accidentally put four in there. I'll just put my finger on one and pour them in. And then, see, I still have that one. And uh, sometimes I do that when it's easier. It's harder to do with mine because there's five and six. Um, it depends on the cap. Because <laughs> the bigger cap, it's easier to do it with five. This little tiny cap is another thing altogether. Um... But anyway, at AHRC, they um, get their medicine from a, well, not everybody, at the day, at the group homes, they get their medicine from a commercial pharmacy, and the pills come in giant daily blister packs. Basically, um, like you would get pseudofedrin in a blister pack, or like here, like this allergy medicine, comes in like a blister pack. So imagine if you would, this was 30 days or 31 days, and each one was a different dose with the date on it. So that was, that was very convenient. Um, the other thing that goes in the PM meds, we both get an allergy medicine. This is generic Zyrtec. We do buy it like this. We do buy it like this, and I transport it in this. I don't do it until it's empty, though, because um, I don't want to leave any old stale pills in the bottom. If you just keep refilling this, when there's still pills in it, you might end up having one there that's like six months old. And that is no good. So with these ones, I just drop individually by my hand. So this is Zyrtec. Jim and I both suffer from seasonal and off-seasonal allergies. Um, nasal type of allergies. We take our allergy medicine at night. We do this for a couple of reasons. First of all, um, it helps us sleep. Because um, if we're going to have an allergy attack in the middle of the night, that will keep us awake. Or wake us up with not being able to breathe. Plus, some allergy medicines can tend to be drowsy. A possible side effect of them. So, if you're going to take it, take it at night. It's still 24 hours no matter when you take it. The next thing we're going to take is melatonin. This is 5 milligrams. These are the dissolved tabs. And that's not necessary for me. That's just sometimes the only kind that Walmart carries. They're actually a little more expensive than the pills that you swallow. But these are strawberry flavored five milligram melatonin. Melatonin, for you don't know, is a um, natural sleep aid. Um, it is, sorry, it helps you fall asleep faster. So it's like a relaxation thing. And I think that it has, it says dietary, dietary supplement. Melatonin helps regulate sleep and wake cycles and may support more restful sleep so um the psychologist psychiatrist one time told us about melatonin um, and serotonin and how your body creates the serotonin and in, in the middle of the night and it produces and that's the happy pill that goes in your stomach and it's just like this whole thing so um but we know that melatonin does help um us relax i went because we know this because if we're out and we don't know we're out and we're having trouble sleeping, there's been times where I've been laying in bed and I'm like, I can't know why I can't go to sleep. And I'm like, oh, you didn't take your night meds, so get on that. Um, the next thing that I take that Jim does not is I take an Equate stool softener. This is 100 milligrams of Ducosate, Ducosate sodium. Um, it looks like this. It is not a laxative. It is just a stool softener. It doesn't help you go. It just helps the go go easier. Um, and I take one every night. If for some reason I'm having stomach discomfort or diarrhea or something, I will not take it that night. I'll just leave it in the pill container. Um, just making sure one went in each. Sometimes they bounce off of the thing, so they look good. That looks good. Jim does not take that. And the last PM med I have that Jim does not have is Genumet. Genumet is an oral diabetic medication. It is uh, 50 milligrams 
of citagliptin. <laughs> citagliptin, right there. And a thousand milligrams of uh, metformin, and I take that twice a day. Um, I it's a new bottle here, guys. Sorry, um, it's a lot of new bottles I'm opening today, and I am just throwing garbage right here on the bed. Um, comforter. I will clean it all up when I'm done. It's just easier than having to always reach under for the garbage. Um, these are a pretty big pill. I will show you one. Okay, that's one in each night. Okay, and then I'll open the days because I get one of these each day too. So let me show you what they look like. They are a pretty big, sorry, that. <laughs> They're a pretty big pill. Um, they're just like about the size of a big multivitamin. Um, so what I like to do, because my cobblers are smaller than Jim's, um, I actually have to, I love a perfect pour. <laughs> I actually have to put them in there and then I have to, this is gonna sound crazy, but I have to stand them up on their side I know it's nuts, guys. I know I'm doing it by feel. Um, the reason I do that is because the, the the amount of medicine that I take in my daytimes. So next to my Genumet goes a capsule. I take two capsules every day, and one of them is cinnamon. This is a 500 milligram cinnamon tablet. It's cinnamon. Like if I crack this open, I could put it on my Cheerios kind of cinnamon or on a roll cinnamon. Um, cinnamon I take to lower blood sugar. It's a natural um, blood sugar. Uh, it doesn't lower your blood sugar. What it does is it says it helps regulate your blood sugar. Let me tell you, I'll read you the actual, um, I'll read you the actual thing here. Uh, it's from Metapo Meta Metabolism. What the heck is wrong with me? Metabolism support. <laughs> Sorry. Um, cinnamon and cinnamon and chromium support healthy uh, metabolism of carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. So that's what it does. It helps regulate your blood sugar by doing all of those things. So I have to put the cinnamon next to, or it could have been the St. John's wort, next to the um, the pill that's sideways so that I can fit the rest on top. But Jim also takes the cinnamon, so I'm going to make sure I put them, one in each of his during the day. Actually, at night. He takes his at night. I take mine during the day. This isn't a matter of when you take it. It doesn't really make a difference. I can never take it at night because it gives me indigestion sometimes. Not indigestion. I burp it. I actually said to him this morning, I always take it with food. I always take it with breakfast but I realized today I can't really take it after breakfast I have to take it while I'm eating because food has to sit on top of it because if food doesn't sit on top of it burp because I ate breakfast today and I didn't take it for like another hour and I was like oh that's not good so the next thing I take is my multivitamin I take Equate brand daily uh, basically it's one a day women's health support but it's the Equate brand and all you have to do is, when you're shopping in the stores, turn the package around and compare the amounts of the different types of vitamins. And you'll see that um, that what's in the name brand, say like the one a day brand, then they'll be the same in the Equate brand. I do know from working at AHRC that if you have um, like weed allergies sometimes, you, can, um, you have to look to make sure that what you're using um, is wheat free um, sometimes the fillers and medication can have um, things in there that aren't good for you so basically uh, we had a, a, a lady who had celiac disease and she had a very severe case of celiac disease um, and um, she uh, had to get really mostly just name brand um, name brand uh, pills and stuff because of that reason the next thing that I take that's a capsule that has to sit next to the multivitamin is St. John's Wort. St. John's Wort is a for mood health. 
And it was recommended by my mother-in-law when I first met my husband and I was taking birth control pills for the first time. And I wanted to cry uh, about one week every month, constantly. You guys know that I am a bit of a sap. <laughs> I'm a bit of an emotional girl. I'm a cancer. It's just the way it is. Um, but, oh, what happened here? Oh, I actually got two in there. How did I do that? Oh, take that out. Sorry, guys. I didn't mean to get distracted. Um, I'm a little bit of a sap, and I started taking St. John's Wort, and it really does help. Um, oddly enough, I had a doctor who said, I want to see what all the medicines you take, and they asked me to bring them in instead of just writing them down, because one of the things about working at AHRC is that when you take an individual to the doctor, you have to write down all their medicines, doses, and frequencies. Frequency is how many times a day. And, um... You just learn to like remember that, especially for yourself. So the doctor was like, the, the nurse was like, well, bring in like, see, you take St. John's wort. If you take it so much, the doctor might want to put you on an, uh, an antidepressant. And I'm like, why would I want to be on an antidepressant if the natural remedy is helping me? Explain that. She couldn't. <laughs> so I don't go to that doctor anymore. Let's just say that. Um, the next thing I take is biotin. This is a thousand micrograms. Um, biotin is basically um, the same protein you get in like egg whites, and it is uh, for healthy nails and hair. Now, there is no regulation on most multivitamins and vitamins in general. Um, I don't know if you guys know that that there's no like real FDA regulations on them. Um, they could say they can do anything for you. Um, but I just know from, from years of studies and learning from my dad and from Sally and stuff. I just know from years of studies and from like my dad and from my mother-in-law. Um, so this is hair, skin, nail health. Um, it's a thousand micrograms. It's a dietary supplement. So that's biotin. I take that as well. The second prescription I take is Jardians. Again, this is not sponsored. Um, I take Jardians. This is a 25 milligram cat tablet. I take this once a day. So I take two oral um, di diabetes medications and I take one twice a day and I take one once a day. Um, this is trying to keep me off of insulin. Insulin is a very tricky thing, and you have to be really very careful with it. So I'm trying to avoid it at all costs. And the last thing that I take, nope, not the last thing, second to last thing that I take is vitamin D3. Now, um, a lot of people don't know that vitamin D, the USDA recommended that everybody up the amount of vitamin D that they have on their daily intake because... The way it was explained to me is that people are not spending as much time outside as they did 100 years ago. Hard to believe, right? We're not all farmers. We're all gamers. Um, <laughs> and that being said, the vitamin D that we would naturally get in the sun um, is lessened. So um, I always thought it was I was doing pretty good because of all the milk that I drink. But when I was tested, my vitamin D levels were lower than they had recommended. Jim also takes vitamin D, and that's for his hair. I mean, his hair. His skin um, is one of the reasons he takes it. And the other thing I take is B12. This is 1,000 micrograms of B12. This, I found out in a, they did a study, or actually several studies. When I find out there's something new, I go and see how many studies were done on it, who did it, how big was the study, that kind of thing. And what I, was, what I found out through my research was that some doctors recommend B12 when you're on metformin because metformin works by actually balancing out a hormone in your body and what it can do for a lot of people is make them more tired. So the doctor was recommending B12 to boost their energy a little bit. And this is a bit, again for metabolism support. It says um, B12, vitamin B12 adds um, an energy production and also supports 
uh, the cardiovascular, immune, and nervous system health. And again, they have an asterisk next to all of those claims because those claims, um, you know, <laughs> they're not, they're only, they're only their proof of it. It's not, the FDA has not proved it. So that's my Combler pack ready to go. And then I'll usually finish Jim's. Now, Jim gets a B12, but he gets it during the day. So I'm going to go ahead and open his daytime pills. You definitely don't want to take your B12 at night because you'll never sleep. And don't take your B12 to fight your metformin, I mean your uh, melatonin, because they'll just have a fight. No, I'm kidding. Um, Jim takes his, um, his B12 during the day. He takes his multivitamin during the day. He takes a men's multivitamin. You guys probably know this from all of the Shop With Me videos. But Jim takes the one a day, same thing, men's. By Equate brand, and you want to take your met, your multivitamin during the day because it kind of works by drawing the um, the vitamins out of your food is one of the reasons I've heard. But basically, it also has vitamins in there that can give you energy. So you, again, you don't want to take that at night. Jim also takes fish oil. Excuse me, that was really loud. This is omega three. This is one thousand and forty milligrams per serving. Um, it also has EPA and DHA in it. Well, the two fish oils are made up. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Um, this, he takes one. Again, this was prescribed by his doctor. He used to take a, um, a prescription level. Um, he doesn't anymore. Now he just takes this. Um, and then he takes it one at night as well. And then he also takes niacin. He takes niacin for metabolism support. I believe it's for heart health. Uh, niacin, vitamin B9. I think it says B9. B3. Is essential for healthy energy metabolism. And also helps support the nervous system health. So he takes one of those during the day as well with his multivitamin. I just forgot to put it in there. Let's see. Ooh. Okay. Oh, he's got, I dropped an extra one, sorry. I dropped two. Mom also takes niacin. Um, Jim also takes vi I'm sorry. Jim also takes vitamin E. He has for a long time for his skin. Um, for those of you who don't know, he's got a calcium deficient sort of psoriasis fungal thing that happens on his face. <laughs> I know that's a lot of different things to describe what's happening on his face, but he does. And he just has always taken vitamin E to help. And he does. You can tell, like, when he's not feeling good. Um, and I think um, the last thing is the echinacea. Yep. He takes echinacea, or if you're Native American, you say echinacea, golden seal. This is 900 milligrams, and this is for immune health. So this actually helps support his immune system, tries to keep him as healthy as possible. It's just a natural herb um, derivative from the ground that um, really has been in Native American medicine for centuries, if, if not longer. So that's our combler's. Jim also does his nasal spray twice a day. He takes a 10 hour, 12 hour nasal spray that usually lasts about 10 hours. I take nasal court. Um, we've talked about that before. This is a, a Allergy medicine that's obviously nasal. Um, and it's just, it's got a little steroid in it. So it's, it, what it does is it also not only protects, puts a layer of protection from inhalants, but it also has a um, anti inflammatory that reduces the swelling in my nasal passage. So um, it has a steroid in it, 
<clears throat> but not my doctor told me not so much steroid <clears throat> that I have to worry about it with my blood sugar. But I'll show you what they tell you, and if you forgive me, is you should always blow your nose the best you can. You know, excuse me, you know, we talked about that on the last show about sometimes it comes out the nose, sometimes it comes out the mouth. But what you do is your first time taking it, it's two sprays in each nostril and then every subsequent dose after it's one so what you do is I squeeze as I squeeze I breathe in so that the medicine comes out of there and goes straight into my sinus cavity the same with the other side ready so you go and I always do that for two extra breaths breaths because I really want it to get back there and I don't want it to start dripping down I wipe it off because you always need to wipe it off. I know that I just blew into this tissue, but I made sure that the dirty part was on the inside. Besides, it's my tissue anyway. And then cap it, and it stays there at my bedside table. I Next would like to really minutes. apologize for the way that this video is put together, but it ended up being 47 minutes of me chatting, so I thought I would break it up for you. Thanks, everybody, and as always, take care. God bless, and we'll see you next time. Bye.